Good evening, everyone. Today's October 6th, and yesterday was October 5th. In regards to history of wrestling, two very significant ha things happened yesterday in wrestling history. First was that, uh, believe it or not, it's been 11 years since the passing of Brian Pillman, the loose cannon. Back then, Brian was probably one of the most controversial guys there was at the time. Uh, I actually heard, you know, I, I was like pretty much like everybody else, except, you know, you, you, a lot of good people watch the pay-per-view on, uh, on pay-per-view. I was actually in St. Louis, Missouri that night at the Kill Center for the Bad Blood pay-per-view. And you, you gotta say, it was a shock. Uh, I had known Brian from uh, working shows with him over the years. One hell of a guy. Really nice guy. Uh, at the time he was doing the whole loose cannon thing, he was pretty much portraying that role inside and outside the ring. And, you know, sometimes I even wondered if, if, if he was all there, so to speak. Uh, the last time I had seen Brian before his death was um, the night of the SummerSlam pay-per-view that year. Uh, it was at, that was at uh, Eaton in, in uh, East Rutherford, New Jersey, at the Old Meadowlands. I don't know. I think it's they call it the Izod Center now. Uh, we were at one of the local airport hotels, hanging out in the bar, you know, just talking and shit. Uh, and and that's something I hold dear, you know. Remember Brian, you know, rem remembering Brian that way. The other thing is, it's been nine years since Darren Drozdorf was paralyzed. Another event I happened to be at, um, which was at the Nassau Coliseum, in, Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, Long Island. You know, that was 1999. Uh, basically pretty much broke his neck and was paralyzed from the waist down during a botched power bomb from D'Lo Brown. Now, you know, a lot of people, you know, there's been a lot of speculation what happened. I can tell you from my angle, it seemed like somebody had thrown a beer or something into the ring and D'Lo slipped on a wet spot and, you know, basically <laughs> dropped down on his neck. You know, long story short, you know, but, once again, there are hopes that, you know, Darren will walk again, and by all means, I hope that can happen. And unfortunately, we can't bring back Brian, but, you know, we can always remember Brian for the guy he was. Anyway, I'm Frankie Love. I'm out. Peace. Y'all have a great night.